Welcome to the Floga app. I'm Umberto, CEO and founder of Floga, and this little video is meant to help you get the best out of the Floga app. Yes, because the Floga app is an app that requires a little learning curve because it's a dynamic one with endless possibilities. Okay, let's dive into the app. Okay, so when uh, you, after creating your, your account, you're gonna land onto this uh, main page, main screen. Okay, on the top here, you're gonna have the, uh, the sequence builder, okay? You can tap on Hata Vinyasa and you're gonna see all the Hata Vinyasa uh, poses present in the app, okay? To select the pose, it's very simple, you just swipe up, okay? Like this, with your thumb, you find the, the pose you like, you swipe up, etc. So, super simple, right? Um, you can have also a selection based on the, on, on the filter. So, for example, you want to uh, select uh, just inversions, okay? You select inversion and voila, you have inversions here, right? Uh, the same thing can be done for chakras and benefits. And of course, you can have multiple selection in the filter, right? Uh, another important thing you can do is to search by pose name, okay? Lot Tools, for instance, and voila, all the poses containing the lotus word, um, Sanskrit name, and card number. Yes, because uh, we know that many of you already have our PlayPose Yoga deck, and if you, for example, build a sequence with the physical decks, you can quickly reproduce it uh, in the app uh, this way. Okay, so. Let's move on to another feature. So let's imagine now we have created our uh, first, uh, the beginning of our sequence, which doesn't really make sense. Um, if you want to uh, insert uh, another pose, okay? You said, oh, I forgot to do a uh, warm up, right? We select by, you see what I did with my thumb? I keep pressing, when you keep pressing the, card will become smaller and you will be able to drag and drop it wherever you want, right? So you want it at the right, right at the beginning, you put it here and you leave it and the pose is going to be uh, placed exactly where you want it, uh, it to be, right? Um, another, another interesting uh, feature we have is uh, this button here, okay? When clicking here, see what happens. The cards change, right? So Basically, this function will suggest you only poses that make sense after uh, the last selection you made, okay? So, now here we have, you see, if we keep swiping up, uh, you, you're gonna see always new cards. So, for example, now we select camel pose, right? What is recommended after camel pose? Bow pose, upper bow uh, pose, etc., right? And this will help you, uh, even if you're not a teacher, you're not super experienced, to reduce the possibilities and select for sure something that makes sense, okay? It's a sort of uh, intelligence guidance for your uh, sequence. Okay, let's move on to the next screen. Actually, let's stay here because we have uh, a very important update with the uh, most recent release. So, up here you see Hatha Vinyasa, right? We selected Hatha Vinyasa, but uh, many of you uh, during the month of May uh, and also the beginning of June this year, uh, they asked us, oh, but I want to include asanas, poses from other styles because I want to have a, a, a yin, yin pose or I want to have some mudras at the end of my flow, at the end of my class, okay? Or a pranayama. So if you tap here, Okay, you're gonna see that you have yin, mudra, chair, pranayama, and then we're gonna have, add, of course, uh, the other styles that we haven't add, uh, added yet to the app, right? So let's, uh, let's, for instance, select pranayama, right? Here, you're gonna see the pranayamas. So you say, oh, I want this one, right? And voila, and it's gonna be selected. And voila. And, oh, I wanted a yin pose, right? Okay, I can select even, uh, even a yin pose, right? So, or a mudra. Hmm? Here we have all the mudras. Of course, the filters change according to the style you're gonna, you're gonna choose. So for the mudra, for the mudras, we have um, 
uh, six categories, so the air, earth, etc. Okay, so uh, for example, we select mind and we have only the mind mudras. Okay, so after we've done this, okay, you see the benefits. Okay, I'm not gonna go, I mean, you need to explore a little bit, but uh, this is very, very simple to understand once, once you got the logic of it, right? So let's move forward to the next screen. Here we have our fantastic sequence, okay? Um, you're gonna see uh, something interesting here. Uh, so right side uh, in um, Warrior 2. What does it mean? It means that this is an asymmetrical pose and therefore uh, we decided that the first side you're gonna do is the right, okay? If you add, let's, let's just duplicate this card, okay? If you want to duplicate, you can select, okay, and click here and duplicate, right? Done. What happens is that the app already tells you, okay, you need to do first the right side and then the left side. Of course, if you want to do first the left, you can just tap, okay, and change uh, the side, okay? Uh, another important thing that, thing that I forgot, uh, which is extremely useful uh, from, a, from a learning perspective, is this one, okay? Uh, this feature can be accessed, accessed here, but also in the previous screen. So let's go on the previous screen because I think it's going to be uh, yeah, nicer. So basically here we selected, uh, we tap, okay? One single tap instead of keep keep pushing, keep pushing makes you move the, uh, the card wherever you want, one tap, open this, uh, this window, okay, and here you're gonna have cues how to practice the pose, right now it's, uh, it's a mudra, okay, so it's gonna explain you how to practice the mudra, um, and we also have from our academy these beautiful videos, okay, where you can see exactly uh, what is uh, the mudra about and we have in this case our Anne explaining how to perform the mudra. Uh, this same beautiful feature is available of course for all the poses that we have in uh, in the Hatha Vinyasa decks, in the Yin deck, in the Chair Yoga deck, etc. So uh, let's pick mountain pose for instance. Okay, here you have the cue, the precaution, how to practice the pose, and then you have your educational video plus, I forgot to say, the chakras uh, associated to this pose and the benefits. Okay, here again we have Ilona explaining, okay, with Natalie, Natalie, sorry, uh, how to practice properly this pose. This is very useful both if you're learning or, but also teaching because basically uh, here we teach you how practice, but also how to teach the post to students, for instance. Okay, um, so again, we are here. Another important feature here is, again, very similar to the previous screen. If you keep pressing, okay, you are able to move uh, a card wherever you want. You see how fast, how smooth the app is. Uh, the work done to achieve this is uh, it's very... It, it, it's really amazing because uh, it's not a simple thing to do. Uh, in any case, uh, you know, this allows you to really tailor your sequence even uh, after you already selected all the poses you want, right? Um, another important thing, you see there is a time here. You can just tap and the, the time increase by five seconds, right? Like this. If you keep pressing, okay, you're gonna see the time it goes up much, much faster, okay? And the same thing when you reduce it. Okay? This is very useful, for instance, for yin poses where you wanna stay maybe instead of uh, two minutes, you want to stay four minutes, you don't have to tap every five seconds to get there, okay? Um, so here on the top, as you can see, I'm looking at this camera and this screen because I have a camera back. <laughs> so we show you everything basically from different sides. Um, if you tap here, you are going to have this option. So save the sequence that you just created, select the cards uh, or close, right? So let's save it, okay? Mm, sequence one, test, okay? You save the sequence, right? Then you can close with this, uh, um, with pushing that button, right? And you're back on the home page, basically. 
if you go here, you're gonna find your sequence, right? Okay, now I update and the sequence is already here, saved. And of course I can modify it, you know, I can do whatever I want. I can uh, swiping left, okay? And clicking here, you have other options. So you can I mean, edit, which means that you are gonna, okay, let's try to, you're gonna end up on this screen, okay? Uh, you can, um, you can rename it, okay? And you can duplicate. So let's imagine you have a sequence, you like it like it is, but you want to do a modification maybe for a student or, or, or something for yourself, you can just duplicate the, the sequence and you're gonna have, you know, sequence one, test, copy, so, which is the, the, the uh, duplicate sequence. Okay, let's move uh, back to the home screen. And here we have also dynamic pra uh, daily practices. What is this? These are pre-made sequences made by our instructors um, that basically change according to the time of the day you are seeing the app, okay? If you tap on it, you have, okay, a description here, tapping here, you have the, the props required, okay, bolster, um, and some tags about this uh, uh, specific sequence. So heating, resistance, strength, confidence, okay? And here you can have an overview of, uh, of the whole sequence with all the ref and write, etc. What you can do now, you can start and be guided through our sequence builder, start practicing. You're gonna see there is, um, there is a voice, which is Anne's voice guiding you. And uh, you can decide to unselect, for example, the gong here. And it's, this is super intuitive. You're gonna see how intuitive it is, but this is gonna basically guide you through the sequence. Okay, let me, okay, end it. And we're back here. Um, what else? Um, I can, of course, save this pre-made sequence as a starting point for my uh, sequences, pre-made sequence. Okay, I can save it. And then if I go back here, okay, I just update because it takes like a few seconds to get to our database and then um, appear here, of course. So we have pre-made sequence, which is uh, basically the, uh, the pre-made sequence that we found uh, in the FlowGab and which we might have wanted to modify it our, uh, as we wanted, okay? So um, then last, uh, last screen is browsed by category. Here we have different categories and in each category you're gonna find uh, some other uh, pre-made sequences. For instance, here we have uh, yin sequence, okay? You can practice it. You can modify the time if you think you wanna stay more in one pose or less in another one. Um, you can save it, you can do whatever you want and build your own library of, of uh, classes, of sequences, right? Um, here we have uh, the, uh, the profile, it's very simple. Uh, if you want to resubmit the questions that are asked uh, when you uh, sign up to the app, uh, you can do it by clicking here. Uh, it's very important to reply well to these questions because we are going to build features that will uh, um, get information from these questions and will provide you a better experience in the future. Uh, play pause name, uh, basically this um, is a feature that allowed you to unselect uh, the voice and just get the gong if you want. Uh, while practicing, or if you unselect the gong in the player, you're gonna have just the sequence uh, flowing with the right time. So for example, you're in a class, you don't want any noise, but you want to remind uh, all the sides and um, uh, what comes next, you can have it completely silent, right? Uh, this, uh, this, um, this screen, uh, it's work in progress. We're already building a new, better menu with uh, other things and uh, it's gonna be coming very soon. So uh, stay subscribed to our email for this because we, every time we have an update, every time we have new features, we're going to um, uh, send an email basically, okay? Uh, another important thing, uh, we have created a Telegram group that you can access uh, where you will be able to ask questions directly to us, suggest improvements, suggest new features, 
and uh, I'm gonna leave the link uh, below, somewhere below in this video or um, even uh, by, we're gonna send it by email anyways. So that's it for me now. Um, very important thing, as I said, uh, the flow gap is growing uh, because we launched uh, in the beginning of, uh, of May, the first, uh, the first early adopters and uh, the app has already evolved enormously, right? Um, so if you don't see a feature, if you don't see a style, if you don't see something, if you want to improve the app, uh, just go on our Telegram group and let us know. We're going to have also some surveys to uh, basically uh, allow you to vote which feature you want first and help us get uh, the best out of the Flog app. So thank you again for subscribing to the Flog app and I wish you a lovely, lovely day. Bye.